Welcome back to the big board. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Light division. 3W. 80s. Joe Belkowski. The unsung hero of war game design. Uses a lot of cool mechanics. However, other than, you know, getting beyond the atrocious artwork and colors and the mistakes and the errata, as we dig into this, we're starting turn three, and you may say, hey, Kevin, turn three, how can you know there's problems already? Well, let me just share them with you and we'll talk about it. There's a really good game in here, but I, I, I'm either struggling with the rules interpretation or the clarity of the rules, but some, something's a little off here. And I'll just give you one brief example just to sort of highlight uh, stuff let me if i can just unfortunately this new stand yeah you just you're not cooperating tonight are you S sit still stay there don't move all right the stack here <coughs> it's uh <coughs> banda uh, banda abbas airfield it's a stacking limit of three battalions and part of the game here is that uh, you roll for initiative and then you roll for the number of operations you're going to have in a given turn. And uh, if you roll zero, then certain bad things can happen to you. Uh, but it's more likely the case you can roll one or a two or three, maybe even a four. And it's going to limit your activity, particularly if you have a spread of units around the board. Look at all the dark green uh, stacks on land and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you know, nine different stacks. So I, in order to do stuff, I've got to, uh, you've got to be consolidated. So there's a tactical, perhaps a tactical mistake I've made, but given the movement rates of units, I've got to make these beach landings all over the place and acquire victory points. Otherwise, <coughs> you know, we're just not going to win as, as the Americans. And unfortunately for the Iranians, they have rolled, uh, <clears throat> they have rolled, I believe, well, this turn they certainly rolled a zero for activations, which means all of their coastal defense units are flipped, which I haven't flipped them. Uh, there's one just out of frame right here. I haven't flipped them because I can remember. It's not a big deal. Uh, but it doesn't matter anyway because they, no one gets to move for the Iranians. And that's the equivalent of two turns in a row out of three and it's only a five turn game so that really sucks for the iranians they're, they're able to move some reinforcements in that's about it but let's get to this point about uh th these actions so i've got uh let's see i've got this turn i've got well i haven't rolled for it yet but last turn i had two or three actions but i had to land a force and then i had to attack a hex and then I had to attack another hex and that chewed up all my activation so when I flew in my reinforcements at the beginning of the turn these units here well they didn't get a chance to move out of the air airfield or uh, <clears throat> the airport and and make room because stacking's three battalions or, or a regiment equivalent right and so stacking's enforced at all times as far as I can tell, I want to bring in my airlift reinforcements. I'm going to bring in uh, three battalions from the 24th Division. They're going to land here. I'm overstacked. And I, and I think by the rules, you're, you're either... Bad things happen. I think you get eliminated. So... It, uh, so I don't know. I don't know what the hell to do with that, right? Because I can't bring the units in. I can't do the I can't move and then do the attacks later on. I've got to keep stuff in stacks, otherwise uh, otherwise I, I'm too weak. I just can't have you know an eight two two unit sitting around by itself necessarily. But I didn't have the activations available to bring the forces in, so maybe that is the dichotomy and the problem and the puzzle and the challenge we're supposed to deal with. But that would be, and it would be fine if we were playing for 10 turns, I could manage that and we would just deal with it. But I'm on my, you know, I've had three turns left. Let's see how many activations I actually get. 
Okay, so there you go. So this turn will be good. I'll get eight activations. That's the most I've ever had, right? Um, so we'll be able to do some stuff. I'm going to fly these guys in anyway. It just doesn't make sense to me that we wouldn't do that. Uh, and I know that it feels to me like I'm violating a rule here, but it doesn't seem to make sense otherwise. Other than that, other than these things and the errata, uh, you know, the combat system, it's kind of interesting. It's It's got a little bit of a wonkiness to it. There's some multipliers that need to happen. Uh, and but there and there's a broad range of results that can occur. You know, uh, mechanized units. I think I mentioned this earlier on in another video. Mechanized units going to get a multiplier effect going on here, uh, as will armor. And then you've got a broad uh, set of uh, results for the combat results table. I'll just put it up here, so you can see it goes you know all the way from attacker eliminated to defender eliminated at. Uh, 10 V, you know, through 12 to one, depending on the terrain you're in, right? Uh, so a, a decent combat results table, don't have any real big issues with this set of mechanics that uses movement points or uh, uh, operations points to activate units and then allow them to attack. So if you want to do a heavier attack, cost you more of your your tactical operations points that you'll have. So that all works well. The air war, very, very abstracted and probably okay, but it's a super light game, except that the rules A are a bit wordy and B seem to be missing a few bits and pieces here and there that would make this a much smoother playing game. I really question the five turn duration of these scenarios. It just, or well, the one I'm playing anyway, it doesn't seem to me to give us enough time to get stuff done. Yeah, so it's a single day. So we're talking about five days of activity. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I know in sea operations, uh, and we're dealing with supplies, so I don't know that operations are going to be curtailed after five days. Um, and certainly the response rate from the Iranians within this five day window is pretty significant. You've got all these forces top top left hand side, none of them can move, don't have the action points. And these guys, none of them can move. I'm moving three of these dudes, uh, but that's it. So, um, and, and I couldn't get, ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, uh, so it's really interesting, but I'm not sure that it's, it's a cohesive uh, finished product and I really wanted it to be. I really wanted it to be because it's a Joe Belkowski game and I love 99% uh, of his designs. I guess now I love 98% of his designs. So uh, I'm probably gonna draw a halt here. I'm gonna see what I can do with this particular turn and we'll, we'll play out the eight activations given that that's the most we've ever had. And we'll, we'll clean up this mess with the airport and uh, we'll try and take uh, the, the uh, Kohobuk uh, Dam and this airfield down here for four more VP or three more VPs. They're the only ones we're going to be able to get access to this turn. I don't see how I can possibly get to any other locations this turn. And that would mean we would be at 21 VPs, which is just really not a good effort at all. And that would leave me two turns to pick up 10 plus more like 15 VPs. I just do not see that happening. There's no physical way with movement rates the way they are that we can move in, attack and capture these these sites. Uh, you know, I can probably get this one for one VP. Um, I don't know, these, 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 are, these are ridiculously difficult to get to. Uh, one more down here for three, that'd be four more. Still well off a, a significant victory for the for the Americans and probably probably not even a marginal victory. Yeah, it would be it would literally be a marginal victory. Uh, anyway, there you go. We'll keep cranking away. Talk to you soon.